With a thin crust of rock surrounding a dense iron core, there's more to Mercury than the first appears. Temperatures on the heavily cratered surface range from around 450 degrees Celsius down to minus 180, and there are signs of past volcanic activity. Mercury has been visited twice, first in 1974 by NASA's Mariner 10 probe, and some 40 years later by MESSENGER, which spent four years in orbit. MESSENGER mapped the surface and even discovered strong evidence for water ice in shaded craters. But the mission also raised new questions about this mysterious planet, questions the Bepi Colombo orbiters will be trying to answer. The big step forward for Bepi Colombo is the fact that we have two spacecraft, the European Space Agency spacecraft, which is designed to look at the surface of the planet and to study the planet in detail. And the second spacecraft um, is designed to look at the environment. And so having two spacecraft will enable us to do um, a great deal of new science compared to the previous missions. Protected by multi-layered insulation, hand-stitched thermal blankets and a radiator to dissipate heat, ESA's Mercury Planetary Orbiter carries 11 science instruments. It will focus on studying the surface and internal composition of the planet. We will provide uh, the 3D uh, images of the entire surface of Mercury. And then there will be a global mapping with a spectrograph for the composition. And it means that uh, we will provide the composition uh, within the spectral range covered by our instruments of the entire surface of Mercury. A primary objective of the Japanese Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter's five instruments will be to study the planet's magnetic field. The combined data from the orbiters will enable scientists to build up a picture of the magnetic bubble or magnetosphere surrounding the planet and the influence of charged particles from the Sun known as the solar wind. With Bepi Colombo, with a two-satellite approach, we have one satellite, the MMO, sitting in the solar wind and the other one is inside the, uh, the magnetosphere. So we can see what is coming towards the magnetosphere and what is driving changes within the magnetosphere. But the international science team will need to be patient. It will take seven years for Bepi Colombo to reach the planet and for Mercury's mysteries to be revealed.